What what is what is up? Um, I sure hope that piano doesn't become an what issue. Is, what is up, piano aficionado? Someone in our building somewhere is playing a piano quite loudly and poorly. Yeah, they were just kind of raking it. Maybe they're just testing for maximum noise podcast making podcast disturbances. And it's like we're supposed to be the disturbance. Yeah, we're so. public enemy number one. We've let everyone know. Thanks, Willie. One, one, one. Thank you. One, one, all, one. Like, We've let everyone know. That's all I ask. <laughs> We've let everyone know. Uh, it's, it's gone now, so hopefully that doesn't return. But if at any Oh, don't worry. It'll return every Monday from one to five. That's the worry, right? We immediately need to investigate and find out well, what is happening. I hope it returns just for a bit today, just so people don't think we're crazy. Perhaps, but if, if Mad Cap's piano or like the Mr. Bean theme starts playing at any point oh. then uh know that it's not us i thought you said mad cats piano mad caps like, i think no, is what like it's called if mad cats instead of making arcades uh, well six. i mean shit trick greg would love that the mm. dude that played uh fighting games last year at dreamhack on his keyboard because that dude is crazy and you can do that mad okay. cats can maybe do that anyway it would be great to be able to make piano inputs Oh, oh shit! I think I think Reggie and I literally made that joke when we saw him go up there, and then it's kind of like, yeah, it's it's the uh, duh. It's very duh. It's <laughs> that's it, why it's I like, went for it. It's, it's one of those things where, like, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, you're you're clever. You came up with that, yeah. did you? You no. feel feel like a big boy. I have, I have one later today. Yeah, yeah, I have another one. It's almost like it's almost like anyone with a woolly hole reference in 2018. It's a little bit like really, really, we're still doing this. Okay, it's like, <laughs> I guess. When is the Pat's wrong joke gonna be done? When you stop. But, but uh, uh, do you specifically mean crazy talk, or do you no. just mean, okay? Woolly didn't do anything for the hole. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. That was that was one hundred percent manufactured. It's just a, well, like well, a fabricated location in a dreamscape. Well, what I caught, what I caught, like like literally as of this morning, even was like there's other Canadian or Montreal YouTubers and no, whatnot that are no, involved and people that not. are tagging and cross referencing things that have a peripheral idea of who we are or what we do. Sort of might have heard the term woolly hole. That, that goes like for any four years ago. YouTube group. Yeah, so it's like no, well, it wouldn't be played out and dry there because it's like you only kind of heard it once or twice, and then that was the end of that. Yes, you yes. know. And then there was that that. Oh, tweet. so what? So did someone at DreamHack say something? No, no, no. It, it was uh, there was there was okay. that someone was like, "Yo, woolly." It was the way it was phrased was just like, "Come on, man, open an arcade." And I was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Damn, <laughs> I had that thing. What would and you call it, Willie? Exactly, and yeah. and it was followed by no less than twenty five, no more than about eighty suggestions that you call that arcade the Woolly Hole, could and it's like legally could not name it if it's in Quebec like I, that. I feel like you've gone through that whole like path multiple times over Very the time much so. that I've known you. Yeah. And it's always like, man, I love arcades. I should open up an arcade. Wait. Why did arcades die? <laughs> right. Okay, cuz I'll go broke. That's also, why, that's why I have to open up a Dave and Buster style place. Or a, or a cinema, yes. Or a cinema. But it's not only that you'd go broke, it's also that even if you started making money, the city would actively be sending in informants and um, uh, what's the term? Blockbusters. Uh, you know what I mean? Like 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 sleeper cell agents to to disrupt your business. Sleeper cell. Just like like fucking. They hate arcades and they want arcades to go away. So the few that exist that haven't died off, mm -hmm. they're basically like the ones that stood up to the bullshit that no. the city is trying. They're the ones who went over uh, to Jimmy and paid Jimmy the money to pay the person in the municipal government the money I, to ignore their arcade. No one at but, Amusement 2000 paid no one. Well, here's the thing, though. <laughs> like, but at the just, They're like, mm, leave one. Mm, 
I bet you it's Lee no. One and they got to Amusement 2000. It's, laugh. it's because Amusement 2000 is next to Crescent Street, which is Tourism Central. It's true. And they're definitely handing brown envelopes to motherfuckers. Absolutely. But they're empty. By. Allegedly. I don't know. Oh, we're, empty, we're, we're, <laughs> but like, Well, yeah, I, I mean, you're just saying brown envelopes. It's it's no... It could anything. It could be taxes. It, 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 it could be empty. It could be... There you go. It could be... Handing a brown envelope gold empty. Gold stars. To somebody that collects envelopes. It could be tokens envelopes. to play in the arcade. That's exactly what it is. It's a self-sustaining economy. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, you're my friend. I'll give you a bunch of tokens for the arcade. You can play our no fighting games with these tokens. We can but like, play if our... I were to go to like City Hall and be like, uh, "Excuse me, Régie d'entreprise." Yes. I would like to open up uh, an arcade. Uh, I'd like to call it Castle Super Beast, and it'll be a video game place, and it'll be fun. They'll be like, "So you want to open up a crack den, do you?" Yes. What types? Of can't you just open child's up? kidnappings and crimes? Would you say you plan to create with I, this crack I, den? I'm, I'm with you with burying someone and saying they're shitty, but at the same time, it's like really in this day and age when Montreal has advertisements like on the subway, whatever, for video games. Would anyone still really think like this? Excuse I, me, it, Mr. Madden. We're seeing here that you're some. opening up a crack arcade. Could you not open up something more respectable, such as a, a bar next shop. to a school, a yeah, sex shop, yeah, 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 a strip yeah, yeah, club yeah, with yeah, nap yeah. rooms? Yeah, a a contact dance nude place yeah. with um nap rooms. What's the fucking thing called? What's the it's uh there's a term. It's not just a special massage. It's called a uh, Nuru massage. Oh, the one that... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nuru? It's, nu- it's called a Nuru massage. That place massage. is right next to the Funzo. Nuru, you, you walk. walk. By the, Nuru. You walk by the Lebanese <laughs> place, and every time somebody goes in there, you're wondering if they're going to get dinner or dinner. Dinner. <laughs> That's why uh, I and Leanna's idea of opening an arcade slash strip club... Yes, exactly. You feel Montreal will be like... Eh, ooh, mm, ah, ah, I can't ooh. stop it. Can't oh. stop it. No. Nope. We hate video games, but we love strip clubs. It, it's quite, we have to let this pass. It's a racket. It really is. And it would be called insert coins. But I think. <sighs> but I really do. Could, yeah. You couldn't name it that here, though. No. Yeah. It would be um, unless you made like a clothing brand and then trademarked it and something. then named it insert coin. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> insert coin. <laughs> insert coin. Yeah, yeah. The strippers would be dressed uh, up as light cosplay. Yeah, I legally yeah, distinct. Absolutely. Legally distinct. Yeah, yeah. All you need is like some yellow goggles and spike your hair up. You're Tracer. There you go. You know? No, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, but the yeah, I think it's just a de facto thing that nowadays we can just look around the the landscape and see the the, the graveyards of old arcades and know exactly what they yeah. wanted. I walked by right? where they wanted arcades like ousted. I walked by where Daniel Amusement used to be like on Saturday. I was just walking St. Catherine's. I'm looking. I'm like, God damn. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. many good, terrifying memories mm-hmm. there. My only thing, though, is here's the thing, though, with insert coin, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, are, are your clientele, what are you going for? Are you going for the huge, or are you going for the occasional shy, I probably wouldn't have gone here? We're going for the latter that you just said, but they're transitioning into, into the former. Into the former, so, exactly. Because the question is how they need to be eased because the into latter, the world of strippers. Your target are your target audience is someone who has never done this and might do yeah. it once as a curiosity. Mm-hmm. But where do you get your repeat business that covers the bills? Especially get- on some place as expensive as St. Catherine Street, the center of Montreal. I'll tell you I where you get your repeat business. I would put it business. on St. Catherine Street just because yeah, that would be over oh, the top. Yeah. Of oh, so you go to okay. Well, you can take it down to street. you can take it down to the seedy sides. You All can, right, you know mm. you can get out get down. So to you want your arcade repeat business? Put yes. it near Ubisoft's main office. Ah, uh, that's a decent. That place, hustle. that area is a shithole, so that were perfect. And, and that if office you, has a thousand people. And if you use the if you use the code. Ubisoft on the way in, you get your special like welcome to mug. the Ubi, bu- Ubi bucks or whatever. Ubi this <laughs> you get hey. free lap dance for Ubisoft employees, no, no. right? You want your repeat eat business for your arcade, but you don't want it to be crack. Yes, you don't want it to be drugs. Yes. Okay. Hmm. What about video poker? That seems to be the city's favorite. So that was where I was going to go, actually, yeah. because I, I hate video poker. We've though. talked about it a couple times, but like the most like egregious, to take your term, example. I don't own that. No, and you haven't used it in a while, yeah. conscientiously. Ever since Takahata burned me with it. Yeah. Fuck. 
Choginga. Damn. <laughs> but anyway, um, the ever the uh, 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 the video poker deal with uh, Montreal is one that's particularly fucking bad because some of the greasiest, scummiest deals ever happened in this city. Spe- People are slipping during this deal on the floor specifically so because video poker arcade machines are also they're like they're considered gambling machines and it's a similar thing to how they got rid of all arcades they let you grandfather in a video poker machine if you happen to already have one right yeah. um the only one that existed in the downtown core was in this bar near uh uh it was it was basically this uh, the 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 cock and bowl right that area mm-hmm. oh yeah okay. so there was this whole story about how like I mean, it's long, and it's this whole like ridiculous thing about in order for um, this kind of more or less evil business corporate guy that owns, you know, the guy that okay, you know, the guy that owns all the major bars in downtown. Well, I don't know him personally, but, but you know, I know of, of him, yes, and like the guy that introduced the um, we're going to pay for the parking oh, spot. I fucking hate that. We're gonna oh. pay for the parking spot. In front of the the business, yeah. and build a terrace on it, mm-hmm. terrace on it, and uh, just pay the fucking fine for blocking and the sidewalk just, every day. And that makes up for itself because when you go eat a sandwich there, that pays for the parking yeah. of that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, we We're just walking down the fucking street in the village, yeah. and the entire shade side of the street was covered by uh, by like terraces. Exactly. And like, I'm, you're thank God it's a fucking pedestrian street now. Yeah. Because otherwise, you'd be walking in the middle of the road. Like, that, this was started by, like, a business owner, and then it eventually, like, traveled and became something that everyone's doing now. But, like, you just pay for the parking spot and build a, a, a more extended restaurant on top of it. Restaurant extended. <laughs> and, then, and then the sidewalk itself gets reduced to a one single file lane. Yep. You know, so people are squeezing sideways to get past each other like, even, walking downtown. Even where our office is, there's like a really, ch- like a ch- bottleneck there's that you lots, have to go through sometimes. There's, there's lots of that sometimes. It's all around the city, to be perfectly honest. And uh, St. So, Catherine's the worst because it's the main pedestrian thoroughfare, but yeah. it's also extending out to the fucking street. In most so that kind of happened, and then that happened alongside uh, a lot of these, these bars and businesses that, that are, again, owned by the same family, like extending and extending and taking up more blocks of downtown. Time to time, time, time to time, extend. And then eventually it got down to a point where they're like, we want to own the Cock and Bull, and the Cock and Bull was like, no, we're a bar, we've been here for years, we're doing our own thing. Mm-hmm. And they're like, nah, okay, how about you sell us the video poker machine that you guys have because it's the last one in the area and you can't buy any more and that thing makes tons of money. And they're like, nah, you can't have it. And they're like, <laughs> and they're, they're like, we want it though. And it's like, nuh-uh. And this whole battle goes back and forth until they're like, the guy's like, okay, you know what? what then how about this? I bought the building you're in. I own the building now. Yeah. I'm jacking your rent up. Pay me. Uh, And they're like, we can't afford to exist here. (laughs) Well, then I guess you better cut a deal, huh? Type thing. And so, like, they have to pick up and move. And eventually are, uh, they announce they're moving down the block to another place. Guess what happens? Uh, They own that building. Fuck you. We own that too. Jack the rent up. Pay me. And it gets, it's this, so, like, the dude wants that fucking video poker machine. (laughs) And is doing this sinister shit. And the, and, the, and the cock and bull can't relocate. So eventually, they basically announce on their Facebook page, they're like, okay, everyone that's been following us alongside this struggle, we have a new place. We're not going to announce the address mm. until we're open mm. because they're afraid that this fucking thing's going to happen again. So they had to secretly announce their new opening when they finally did get that place. And I think, and I think it worked out for them, but... Like the old build, but this thing that they, the old building they had to move out of, I th- I think they had to give up the machine in the process because the dude just by owning the building, oh, more or less. Video poker. Uh, well, the the thing couldn't move, it, it, you know. With a, it was a weird thing that yeah, I, I don't sure. understand. It's more part of the detail, detail of the story you. that I don't know about. I believe you. But he just strong armed that fucking video poker strong machine arm. because business that, is amazing. It's, it's brutal. Just, it's just fighting games, but in a different way. It's brutal, man. Well, it's it's such a goofy. Story. You're reading my inputs. It's, How did you know I was gonna move my build my business over here? I already own that shit. It's such a goofy system with those video poker machines because gambling is otherwise pretty heavily regulated outside of the casino and the lotto. 
except for the remaining video fucking poker machines. And every bar that I've ever been in that has some of those grandfathered in those. has that fucking guy at them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that guy? Yep, yep. The yep. one you can tell whose life has been ruined by the fucking video poker machine? I had to walk by that guy every time I wanted to get to Third Strike. Yeah. When we were going to college. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sad there was that back before that arcade was gone. There was an arcade that was, you know, at the back of a bar and in the front at the front of the bar yeah. was the video poker to let you see the sadness. Uh, uh, similar, Advertise it. But not too dissimilar.